Hello everyone, welcome back to Gear. Today we are going to show you how to tear down or disassemble the OnePlus 8 and how to repair the SIM step by step. At first, we have to take off the SIM tray and followed by the battery cover. Meantime, do not forget to check the OnePlus 8 Pro tear down as well. The link is on top right hand section. To start, we need to have right tools in order to minimize hand and finger forces against the parts during the whole process. There are several methods to do it, but ultimately what it needs is to heat gently around the phone until the pasted adhesive becomes on. Again, we got the same back cover removal tool as last time. It slowly pulls up the back cover and flex cables attached to the phone without damaging or deshaping it. The tool is doing a great job by minimizing the pulling pressure. Very handy for a disassembled process. At first, the tool looks slightly complicated, but it does doing a good job. Okay, gently take out the back cover. As you can see, there is little moisture on the phone. It is due to the water test. Do not panic, the phone has survived in our water test and it is working 100%. Anyway, let's wipe it off and let's move. Okay, then we have to take out the motherboard cover by undoing the top screws. Also, keep in mind the order of removing. It may help to restore the parts easily at any point. cover comes out very easily. Let's check out the inside. Again, some water is in. Let's clean it up. Okay, now undo all visible connectors on the top section and see what is next to remove in order to take out the motherboard. Looks like the front camera module comes out very easily. Once the screw removal is completed, gently pull up the motherboard, but still be cautious. Okay, it looks like it comes out very neatly, no cable, no connector is attached. Okay. The back camera module comes out very easily as well. Also need to mention that you do not have to take out the board to replace the back camera. And also the phone comes with three rear cameras and it can replace individually. Probably you know that OnePlus 8 comes with 48 megapixel wide, 2 megapixel telephoto and 16 megapixel ultra wide camera lenses. Again you can replace it individually. Okay now we can remove the earpiece. Looks like it has some glue on it. To take it out there's too little heating on it. Be careful do not overheat. It may damage the earpiece. Okay, let's take out the earpiece and the light sensor flex cable as well. Okay. 
Okay, now we can move to the lower bottom section where the charging connectors are in. First, undo all screws and remove the top bracket that protects the PCB. It looks like the bracket comes with the ringer attached too. Okay, again, there is some more moisture as well. Let's clean it off. Anyway, in a way, I'm surprised to see the water. But the phone is working fine, so I hope it will continue after the tear down as well. To take out the small PCB board, disconnect the flex cable connectors and antennas. Also, the flex cable on the left hand side. I believe it is the signal board. Do you have any ideas? Okay, now let's remove the battery. You know, the OnePlus 8 comes with 4300 mAh battery and capable of 30 watt fast charging. The battery removal is pretty easy, it does not have any connection with the bottom part. So, this will make the removal and the replacement much easier. Take off the adhesive and lift up gently to remove the battery. Underneath the battery, there are three connector flex cables that connect with the top and bottom PCBs together. It looks like the LCD flex cable, main flex cable and charging port cable. Just be gentle when you are working with adhesives, most of the time you can reuse it. Looks like the vibrator motor. Take out the motor by using a tweezer. Okay, next is the LCD. Okay, when it comes to the LCD replacement, you need to have extra skills to remove the LCD assembly. Nowadays, most genuine replacement parts are coming with the frame. That helps to repair the device easily and faster. So, if you are looking for premium replacement parts, do not forget to look at our description section. In conclusion, I would say that OnePlus 8 has been crafted neatly and very easy to repair. Hope you have witnessed the inside and internal parts of OnePlus 8. Let us know what you think and if anything we have missed out. Don't forget to like, share and comment on our videos. Hit the subscribe button, we value your feedback. Thank you.